One, one way of thinking about this is this cycle. And at the heart of metacognition is, are you reflecting? Are you thinking about what you do? Okay, it's very easy to rush in and write answers and you know exams, particularly people start writing immediately. Are you reflecting? And that's true at school, and that's true in the world of work. So let's look at those three areas where we might want to reflect. Planning. Okay. It's actually quite difficult to, to get students or individuals, any of us, to plan. We, we want to rush into it and start answering questions. So schools work hard at saying to students, okay, here's a question. Don't answer it, but take some time to think about producing a plan. Okay. And, and so maybe we give you a bit of time to write out your plan. Here's my essay plan, five points. And that's important. That's important that students do collect their thoughts a bit. I, I um, oversee a number of uh, A-level exams. I, I oversee the reports on them. Uh, last summer in, in the, my subject business, we had three papers. Every single examiner report said, students should plan, students should plan, students should plan. If they plan, they end up with better answers usually, rather than you rush in and try and work out as you go what you're trying to write. So the, the first stage is to get people to, to appreciate the importance of planning something, okay? Meta goes even deeper than that. It says, okay, but before we do that, let's work out how we're gonna plan. What, what is it? Where are you gonna go for information to produce your plan? What sort of plan do you wanna, you know, is, is it bullet point list? Is it spirals? Is it, what, what, what are you planning the introduction? Are you planning the conclude? What is it you're trying to plan? And what's the best way of actually planning? So we're not just going plan, we're going, and now let's start thinking about how you're going to do that planning in the first place. And met, that's, that's even more meta, because that's big. You're stepping back in terms of the process. The, when, when we're faced with an unfamiliar problem, the, the, the easiest thing to do, I'm guilty of this, is go, well, I don't know. No one's ever told me that. I don't know the answer to that. I've never, I've never encountered that before. And, and we kind of run off and say, I don't know. The, the brightest people that I know uh, uh, and work with, when you give them that unfamiliar problem, they go, I don't know, but I've done something a bit like that before, or I wonder if we tried that, what would happen? Or it's a bit like this other problem. They're really the brightest people I know are very good at kind of cross referring to other situations, other problems, other scenarios and starting from basics in terms of how they're going to approach something and then they start trying it out and you can almost see their brains metacognitively working to work out how to approach the problem so planning really is saying okay you've got to have a plan but do think about where that plan is going to come from. what have you done before did it work what was a good strategy you know is that do you like learning in this way do, do you like finding information from there or there? Why? And imagine a lesson where you have a conversation with somebody, A, about a plan, that's progress, rather than we just get stuck in and we start writing, we start talking. But what about you have a conversation with somebody about how you're going to produce the plan? Where are you going to start? What's your starting point? What's going through your mind? And metacognition often is, or metacognitive kind of learning and teaching is almost just vocalizing what, what's going through my mind. Where am I looking for in my brain? Where am I starting from? And if I start to tell you what I'm doing and you start telling me what you're doing, we'll probably have quite interesting conversations about how we're approaching problems, okay? So we've got to start thinking how to, where do we go to approach a problem, planning. We've got to start saying, how's it going? Let's say I'm, I'm 10 minutes into my essay. And again, we're interested in how is it going in terms of the quality of what you've written. But the meta is saying, yeah, and is it on track? Is it working the way you expected it to? Is the plan rolling out in the way you'd imagined? Or has it gone somewhere else? And why do you think that is? So again, imagine a lesson where somebody you start working and then you stop it 10 minutes in and you go, right, let's just stop for a minute. Think about where you've landed, where you are at the moment. Think about what you intended to do. Are you 
So the conversation is not about actually what you've written, but about whether you've landed in the place and arrived at the place you imagined you were going to, and if not, why not, et cetera, et cetera. So am I on track? Am I on the track that I'd set out for myself? Stage three, you get to the end. And again, it, you know, pro, what one stage one of life is, I give you back a, 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 an exam or a piece of work, a student maybe looks at it and puts it in the drawer or in the bin. Stage two is you start saying, okay, start reflecting on how you've done. Think about uh, kind of the mark scheme or look at what other people have done and reflect on how you could improve the work. So the conversation is about the work, the quality of the work. Stage three, big meta, reflect on how you approached that problem. Forget what's there and what you wrote in them for a minute. How did you go about that? How would you do that differently? So did, was, was the way you went about planning right? Was the way that you reflected on progress halfway through right? Or should you have done it earlier or later? Was the, uh, um, was the way in which you decided to allocate time right? So again, the conversation is process, not just um, the things that you have written. And, and uh, hopefully you're coming through this. You, you can see kind of schools and, and students at different stages of development. Um, you know, you, schools must have a world where they're talking about so how was the work? Was it what you expected? How could you improve it? But the meta gets us even further saying, how would you change the process, not just what you've written?